Oh shit. What's up, y'all? What the fuck is good? It's your boy Cam, and we are what? All the way the fuck live. Somebody asked me why I say all the way live, and it's because I'm from Florida. That bitch got hip, that bitch got thighs, that bitch that fine, that bitch that bad, she all the way live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, if you're from Florida, you know what all the way live means. Sorry, I had to fix my shit. I feel like I'm out here looking crazy. The Rona got me out here looking crazy. I need a haircut expeditiously. Um, If you're watching, it's May 4th, and that makes me five months on T. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> five months on T. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get up with these updates. Uh, first, let's celebrate. So if you're watching this shit right now, Pause it, go to your, your cabinet, go to your kitchen, and um, get you some liquor. Patron, y'all should sponsor me, because I fuck with y'all heavy. <laughs> but take a shot with me. Oh, that was uh, delightful, the fuck. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm five months on five months on tea today, and I wanna get y'all a little bit of insight and uh, tell y'all about my virtual uh, top surgery consultation. But I'm gonna leave that for the end of the video. So let's go physical changes. Um, I'm still growing. I've been gaining weight because niggas ain't been doing shit but going to work and fucking eating in the house. So, y'all got any uh, workout recommendations? You know, let a nigga know because I ain't, I ain't trying to get fat. You know what I'm saying? Summer about to come around. I'm trying to be out here cooling it, swanking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as muscle mass, maybe I can show y'all. I'm going to show y'all a little bit. Please. Don't scream at my hair. I know I'm looking rough. Ugh. All right, good. So let's go off chest. My chest is still growing. I don't want to show y'all my tits and shit, but it is what it is. My chest is still growing. I don't know if y'all can tell. Like, ugh. I already have like. My chest is getting wider. You can tell where my I got pecs, like muscle trying to grow in. You know what I'm saying? My traps and everything. I'm growing like a motherfucker. At least I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I want to keep my shirt off after taking that goddamn shot. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, facial hair. Facial hair. Like... My shit is coming in fast and I'm only five months. Mind you though, I was already, I already had facial hair prior to even starting tea. And um, honestly, I think it's the genetic thing. A lot of trans dudes who's been on it for like two years or like longer than me have been hitting me up like, damn, how long you been on tea? Like you already got mustache and chin hairs and everything and I'm just like yo my people is just hairy as fuck but what people don't understand is and what I tell everybody when they ask me about my facial hair I say the same thing like uh my my dad his dad my uncle all on my father's side all of them are bald with facial hair so there's a slight slim chance that I could be a bald head ass nigga. Even my my granddad on my um, on my mother's side was bald. So with facial hair. So I just feel like you know it's a little bit of chance that a nigga could be bald. I'd rather have hair than have facial hair, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Uh, I got a video though. I'm gonna maybe put the video in there somewhere with my facial hair so y'all can get like a close-up view. Uh, my voice. My voice. So my voice has been getting deeper and deeper. When I go back and watch my first video I made, my voice is deeper than it was then. So I feel like I'm slowly making progressions with that. <clears throat> I get a thing that is weird to me. I get um headaches. I get hella headaches now. Like if I don't drink enough water, my head be fucking pounding. And I asked a couple dudes about that shit, and then it's like the same thing. They, you know, they get it. They just tell me to drink hella water. I don't know, maybe it's something that comes with tea. If y'all got any info about that, let me know. Um, mental changes. I would say my anger... I would say I'm calm, but if you test me, my anger will go from 0 to 100 real quick. No Drake shit. Like, I can be calm as fuck. If somebody do something irritating to me, my shit go up like that. Like... Like, I will slap the shit out you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit get that shit get mad crazy. So, there's that. Emotionally, I feel like I'm way less emotional. Like, shit don't really be bothering me anymore. Like, if it don't affect my check or or just in my path of things I want to get done or whatever, then I don't give a fuck about it. Like, I be chilling. I don't let family bother me. I don't let random... I for damn sure don't let random people bother me. So, I don't be giving a... F I don't be giving a fuck. So, sex drive. Y'all probably like, what this nigga doing? I'm lying. I'm lying to J. I'm lying to DJ. Okay. I'm a smoker. If y'all didn't notice my name, it says Kush Not Mid. Mostly everybody knows me as Kush. So I never really went by, like I've been stopped going by my dead name way before I even thought of my new name I wanted to have. I always been Kush. Everybody like, everybody always call me Kush cause I used to, you know, do shit here and there. And I'm like the biggest weed connoisseur you ever met. But uh, Sex drive is crazy. Nigga, I wake up horny. I wake up horny in the middle of the day. I'm ready to go in the evening. I'm ready to... Like, I'm, I'm always ready. <laughs> and baby brings it to me. I'm always ready to catch that shit for her. <laughs> so that's that. But yeah, as far as updates, I feel like that's about it. I am looking into uh, changing my name. I live in Florida, so I think it's a bit easier. I looked it up. It said I just had to have, I didn't have to have a letter from a therapist, just my doctor. So I feel like that's lit. Um, but yeah, as far as changes, that's about it facial hair I'm still growing muscle I've been gaining weight like fuck I'm hairy as hell and I'm horny as hell all the time and horny oh since taking tea I've become anemic and my doctor said that is weird because usually it makes just more bloods more red blood cells but it's making me anemic so I don't know about that I had a uh I had my virtual top surgery consultation with Dr. Gallagher. She's based out of um, Miami, Florida. And she's really cool. Like, she's really cool as fuck. If you have Instagram, I'm going to put her info below. Because right now she's doing free uh, virtual consultations. And if you're a, a trans man or even a trans woman, you know that them consultations be costing you know what i'm saying just for them to tell you some little bit of ass shit so get that done with her um she's she just got a new office so like 
after this corona shit and they reopen everything, she's gonna be ready to go. So it, the wait time isn't really that long. Um, she does not deal with insurance. I think that's the only thing I don't like because I do have insurance and I would really like for that shit to cover that versus me paying it and then trying to expect my insurance company to send me, like give me the money back for it. Like I ain't got time for that. I wanna shoot up the damn insurance company. You know what I'm saying? She's very nice. She specializes in her surgery. She doesn't like people to have to wear those drains. And um, I think I like that because I really don't want to wear that. But I know some dudes told me that I could have fluid or excess fluid in it. Sometimes it's smart to have the drains or whatever. But um, as far as what she told me, my chest, since I'm already like muscular, you know what I'm saying? I already have pec formation so she said my surgery results should be a1 and it should be an easy process because i'm pretty much healthy besides the anemic part and uh yeah my next video is going to be how to start tea sorry y'all i'm over here trying to be dj and shit and um because i got a lot of people a lot of like studs i guess keep asking me how'd you start how you start so i'm gonna tell y'all the process i went through and where i go on my next video this video is kind of short kind of boring i'm sorry it's just five month update trying to you know grow trying to see where my transition takes me and also with top surgery i've been um i've been debating about it only because i do already have i'm already growing a chest so i want to work out more to see where how big my chest gonna get so that when I go get surgery it'll go even better because my pecs will already be there and the doctor will know where to put the nipple and how to shape it because I feel like a lot of trans dudes they they go too fast with getting the surgery done because I understand the dysphoria and shit but I want my look to come out good like I want my shit to look like, damn, did you even have surgery for real? You know what I'm saying? And I want muscle placement there. And it's like, it's the results come out way better when you already have muscle there. Because when you don't, guys just have like that flat, flat chest with the nipple there. It's just flat as fuck. And it looks weird a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't want to trigger anybody else or judge anybody else's. Um outcome surgery results but uh i don't know i i like i want mine to come out a specific way or at least close to how i want it doesn't no i know nothing is perfect so but yeah look out to my next video shout out to everybody that be watching me i appreciate y'all shout out to my new subscribers i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, so y'all share this shit, y'all post this shit, shout out to everybody who actually does repost my shit, and actually, you know, comments, and give me feedback on it, give me things to talk about, and answer, um, this transition is just only the beginning of me becoming the man, the person that I want to be, you know what I mean, it's still so many levels to go, I feel like, I'm getting, I'm, I'm growing, but I still got way more work to do. But um, love and blessings to everybody. I hope everybody's doing okay during this dumbass quarantine process. Uh, when everything opens back up, let's link up. Let's party. <laughs> let's live life, you know, because this shit really shows that you just need to live life because it can be taken away like it ain't shit. So it's your boy Cam. We're what? All the way live. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>